But I guess the media is making the choice not to be here because if there's a dead body over here, I bet everybody's going to be over here. Yeah. But when we're talking about the future of our young people, the future of the next generation, like my daughter right here, the people are already not concerned about that. Because for my daughter to have a future in higher education, we have to make some changes in our state and in our nation. Right. The incarceration out of our waste for safety, public safety, that has not worked for centuries and centuries. We already know that. But yet, because of profit, people continue to do it. The government continue to do that. And who are the people who are locked up in the penitentiary? Who are the people who are not getting the equality when it comes to sentencing laws? It's the people of color. Yeah. Time and time again, it's yeah. people of color. But we are here to say we are tired of that, and we've been tired of that. So the Save Neighborhood and Schools Act it's not just the right thing to do. It is the just thing to do. And everyone should be standing behind that. And the reason why is that we are here together fighting for change. But yet, there are plenty of politicians and plenty of people that who is talking about stopping our changes because they want to continue to profit off of people's back. They want to continue to profit in the modern day slave plantations in the prison industry complex. Yeah. Well, I don't know how many brothers and sisters out here that who are formerly incarcerated are doing amazing work to change and helping the community. Amazing. But you don't hear that in the news because if it doesn't bleed, it doesn't leave. So we have to change that. We don't want to see no blood. We don't want to see a human body being warehoused. We don't want our loved ones to be behind bars sitting with concrete and steel, we want to be out here. So the way to do is, first of all, we need to pass this act right here. Second of all, we need to continue to invest and focus on restorative justice. Because the punishment is not going to work. The incarceration is not going to work. Restorative justice, it is the way to restore the victim to whole. It is to restore the perpetrators who make mistakes to whole. It is to restore those people who are locked up right now to hope. So I say that if we're going to do it, we have to do it together. And now is a good time because it's a good day to die. All right. All right. All right. Yeah.